Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I have an excellent idea for today. I started thinking about it when I was working on this thing here. Uh, I, as you know, I redesigned these motors. Why am I crouching? I have no idea. Uh, I started thinking about this. This is actually a really good idea of redesigning these motors because it actually gives more power. Because some of the times you would hit the the hover pad would actually hit a dead spot here and it wouldn't push anymore but if I have another hover pad down here that's pushing up against it it'll keep it going and at the same time too not only are you using four pads for power but you're getting eight so this is an idea I want to do actually yeah eight uh, I've also been uh, thinking about this too if I were to set up another set of pads here pushing the other way you got yourself a reversible motor. This is actually something I want to try uh, before I work on today's project. It's not going to involve today's project. It's got something to do with the live stream I'm going to be doing uh, sometime in the next in the next week. I'm off work. I have a couple of uh, mega builds I'm going to call them planned for some live streams, and I'm hoping to have something special for one of them. Uh, I'll have a better idea Monday of the times and when the projects and what they will be but anyways uh, I'm gonna go somewhere uh, out of lag range well not necessarily out of the lag range but somewhere out of draw range of here and I'm, since I got an open world here I'm gonna try to space my projects out a little bit more just for frame rate issues so let me do that and I'll be right back okay so here's where I got set up and it's basically the same thing it's a uh, the, the spinner idea and I have uh, the outer ring hover pads are actually all on go in the same direction as you can see but because this one is on this side it's going to push this way this one is on this side it's going to push the other way uh, because this one here is going to be more closer to the block I decided to have this one repelling this one just to get a little more power going this way this one should be going good for going this direction so we'll disable it and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes so we turn it on it is not doing anything, why not? Oh, I think I have a block touching somewhere. I do believe so, give me a second. You would think after using 10,000 of these things, I would remember to set them to, to hover mode. There we go. Goes one way, turn it off, and it goes the other way. So that is basically a multi-directional motor. Uh, it's also got some power. Uh, it is stackable too, and that's the best thing about this. You can have just one set, or you can even go up higher and go four set, like four sets if you really want. Uh, the idea I'm going to be doing today is uh, the one that repels this one is going to be on this side. So this hover pad will be over here, but still facing the same direction. So it'll get us twice the power. And uh, yeah, the idea for today, as you know from the thumbnail, is going to be the gyro. And I've been trying to find a good spot. I think this might be good because we've got the monument over there we have some nice hills a nice view but this time we're going to go bigger we're going to go rounder and we're going to go faster that's right uh i got aggressive floor off so we are okay there now we'll figure out where to put this um i'm, I'm thinking about doing three times the diameter to be quite honest i've already got everything worked out it's going to be the base is going to be 69 blocks and I think we're, I'm actually going to do this proper, like get a proper foundation and base to it instead of just having like a pole sticking out of the ground. All right, so 69 of these, which is not going to be white. Let's go with, uh, let's pave the area here. 69 of these would be 15. 17, split down the middle. And uh, let me figure out some math here. And here's what I got. I just had to go with a sort of like a black and orange sort of contrasty thing. Uh, since I had a five block space I needed to build on an odd, uh, I couldn't use the ceiling tile in here, so I just split it up into uh, just a. Uh, oh, I call them post uh, short inner wall. There we go. And I just had to throw some orange in there in the blocks and all that stuff. So now we got to go and build the uprights here. I actually made this four blocks longer just. So we're not building right to the edge. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna make the main frame. I'm gonna make it out of black. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go up 36 blocks, and I'm gonna do this on the other side either side. Actually a little more than 36. 36 is gonna be where the pivot point is. So I'm gonna do some counting off camera here so you don't have to feel like you're watching Sesame Street. 
I have both ends done. Uh, as you can see, I put the rotating plate on this side, and that's there for a reason. Is it already crooked? Or is it just the angle I'm looking at it? I think it's just the angle I'm looking at it. Uh, but now I have a bit of a challenge, because before I start going to the other side, and as you can I actually built that up one block lower, because that's a side that I have to capture this thing in. So what I need to do is I need to start building down. Why am I blue? Oh. Weird. It looks blue. Oh, it's because my jetpack it does create some sort of lighting effect. But yeah, so uh, the way I'm going to build this, I'm actually going to build a, a square frame and then build the, the circle out of it. Um, because it's all going to be the same grid, it's all going to connect, so I can build in the corner, uh, sorry, build the frame, and then start adding the blocks to make a round, remove the outside of the frame, and it'll stay intact. But it's when you start transferring centers, uh, structures, centers of mass, like that, and that one down there, which you don't see, that's when it starts becoming an issue. So now I have all my uh, figures worked out, so I'm 69 blocks from there, there to there, that's including these. Uh, the first ring is going to be 61, so that's going to be a leap for, uh, four block space, three for the hover pads, and then one block for the gap. And then it's going to be 61, that's going to go down to 53, and then down to 45. So the first one thing I got to do, I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go down out. Four, three, actually. One, two, three. Yes, I guess that's for the hover pad. The hover pad's going to go here, right, on these blocks here. Hover pad needs three spaces, and since I want to have all three spaces used by the hover pad, I want to use threes and leave one block gap so the ring starts here. And then I'm going to go down 31, and I will do this off camera. Okay, that's 31 blocks down. The reason why it's 31 blocks is it has to be. Uh, odd number because it's got a, a one block rotational point. If you have it um, even, then it's going to be lopsided and won't turn properly. Now, the problem is, is I got to plant this now and it's actually sitting on the block I got to remove. Now, I don't want to go too far off to the one side because it might start putting too much weight on it and then it won't line up there. But I have a few tricks up my sleeve, I might be able to. Do it so do that and I really should be saving but I like to live dangerously all right so we go down here uh, I decided to change color midway down I'm gonna have three rings I think the outer ring is gonna be thinking of going like red orange and then yellow so this is planted so I could put all the weight I want on this so now I got to add 60 blocks going across and I was originally thinking about doing the rings as I go in, but uh, because once I get the curve in, I won't be able to go bot, uh, do the frame with the one in the middle. So I gotta do all the frames first and then start rounding them out from the inside outwards. So I'm gonna do some uh, more counting and I will be right back. Like so. And due to my slight miscalculation on my part, uh, I didn't have the, the main uprights far enough. Uh, I need a four block gap. I was thinking four blocks difference, but it's actually going to be five because you got that extra block there. But anyways, I went up to here, then I got, went up to this side's 35, this side is uh, 31 right up to there. Now this is where the joint locking and planting this thing comes in handy. Because if I didn't plant it, because I have so much weight over such a long distance, uh, that rotating plate would have sagged and that block would be down about halfway. So now, uh, since I'm going to go back to black over here, I'm going to do this out of black. We'll put three blocks, put a rotating plate here. Uh, which button is it? There it is. Okay, so now this is where I need my build vision. Because I want to make sure that the block goes on the rotating plate and not on the structure. So we'll go back to here, and that should change to 31. And it does. So that's how I know. And then the same thing like I've done before, I'm going to go ahead and pay attention to my center of mass on that one block. And just make sure that this block doesn't touch anywhere. And it definitely seems to be a lot better, especially with the, the newer Unity. And so on and so forth. So now i got to finish up this ring. 
and start building the second ring and we'll actually uh, I'm gonna actually that's what I'll do I'll finish up this ring and then I'll bring you back when we start adding the second ring now for the next ring I went up there and I just filled it up 20 block up to 20 blocks we'll fill that in once we get this ring up because this is where we start gonna start getting uh, let's say technical with everything so I'm gonna start by finding my center point and that's why I like having that little hexagon uh, ghost I call it marker so it lets you know exactly where you are so this is my center point so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna place a uh, rotating block there put three blocks on top uh, yeah we'll keep these ones red so that's three blocks and then the fourth one is gonna be the next ring so then this one originally was supposed to be uh, hang on. It was originally supposed to be Sixty-one, so it's going to be fifty-one. All right, but anyway, so uh, now we got to plant it. So I got to find out which blocks I have where I can take this out. That's not a problem. So I'm going to have to take these three out. That one, that one, and that one. I cannot touch that block. <laughs> that block is what's holding the whole thing up. I might actually uh, put a little bit of safety under here, uh, just because. You never know. You might hit the wrong block one day. Anyway, so then I'm just going to go at two, one, two, and this is just the anchor point. Once everything is built, then I can start building everything around. I actually might want to have a little more room on this side here. So I'm going to take those out. Because I'm not using a lot of weight, I can go ahead and use a post and not have to worry about sag. Because again, this is where sag is going to be critical. And we'll take out one more. Why not? Actually, we'll just take them all out. Just because we can. And that way it gives me a little more room to work. Like so. And... There we go. So now we are secure. Alright, so now H is on. This is 61. It's going to be 10 blocks shorter. So then basically I just go 25 either side. And then start going up. And... Away I go. So I'm going to do this off camera so you don't have to listen to me count twice. And three times sometimes just to make sure I've got a bit of space because I definitely need it with something like this so yeah give me a moment so there it is 25 blocks either side so that makes 51 long so the outer ring is like I said 51 the second ring is going to be 51 and the outer one now the inner one is going to be 61 so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this frame here and then uh, when it's all done then uh, we'll start connecting up to the top and then we'll start working on a third one Okay, I have the ring done, 51 by 51, so now I need to find the center point. Now, what I've actually been doing when I come up here, because I know that I need a four block gap. I'm using a ceiling tile as like a spacer. So as you can see, it connects to both sides. That is, lets me know I've got like a four blocks. I've got four blocks here. Uh, these are all completely different structures. Keep that in mind. So now we go back to the block, and now I've got to count 26. Because it's 51, uh, the middle point is actually 25 and a half. Uh, you need a one block for the center, so it'd be 25 and 25 is 50. That's either side plus your center. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's it. Uh, let's try not to count because I'm sure it bugs some people. Let me just double check here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, that's perfect. That's actually what they need is a measuring tape. They got the solar beacons to measure distance, but these blocks aren't one meter one meter wide. I think they're actually more like one foot. Uh, because if this is four meters, that's not four meters, that's about uh, that's about six feet. So each one of these would probably be like a foot and a half, maybe. Anyways. So that is a center point. That actually should be a rotating no, the rotating plate goes on this side here. So now the same thing, one, two, three, rotating plate on the top. And then we get our center of mass coming back up. Now put another block on here, and this one, actually this should all be red. Uh, let's go back to red here. 
and just like so even though we're not going to see it just for the sake of building all right now all i do is just come across like so on either side and make sure that my center mass doesn't change and then just try to build around it it should stay in place i haven't had any issues with the newer version of unity i'm actually in the beta branch no, i'm not using that other copy that i had because this is actually more up to date and so far we're looking pretty good now you can still sort of see that break in the texture and oh there it goes i do not want that there you go see i find if you go from this this surface go right to the edge as soon as it snaps over it'll stay on this block but if you just go right on and go right in the middle it has a chance of snapping over there I'm not sure how what, exactly how the algorithm works on that one but that is that so now for the third one I've got it planted over here I've already got a hole over there let's go over here just for safety's sake uh, this one will be a little easier so if I'm going what was I saying 41 so then I just Go one and then 20 down, go all the way around and uh, build the frame. So it's going to be the same process, same thing on the other side there. So uh, give me a moment and I'll be right back. And that makes a third ring. So now the tricky part. And this is something I'm a little worried about. I have done a save, so if anything goes wrong, we're okay. Uh, the problem is I need to connect on this side here. And I actually went ahead and built this first. And I got to get all the motors in before we start actually making it round because I have to know how much space we have. So I'm going to take a chance on taking that block out. And we're good on that. So now build vision on and start building. So we go three blocks, we do the rotating plate, like so. And that should change to 31. That's what I want. 31 perfect and the same thing we go build it around go right to the edge make sure that it's not well that side doesn't matter but it's on this side here that is concerning uh, just because that uh, these blocks are all on the same grid it will connect no matter what oh that's okay we need that there so there we go so now all three rings are completely connected and ready to go so now to build the the hover pad bases i might as well start at this end since i'm already here i'll start with black we'll just keep everything black uh so the hover pads themselves need to go on one block in order to get four around just because they need to have a a block space but this what i've noticed it's only when they're on the central grid uh that, that thing i, sh I built earlier that little example uh, for some reason, when I was placing them on the out outside, they, that one block space they needed was actually being occupied, but they didn't have a problem with it. So that's interesting. Always good to know stuff like that. Uh, so when I put these on, it doesn't matter which way I put them on as long as they're facing the same direction as that side. Uh, yes, we are going to be having a lot of power on this one. So that one's facing that way, that one's facing down. And then we go up like so. And then on the other side. Right there. And it's going to be a matter of four blocks. No, five blocks. Yeah, something like that. Uh, usually I try to do it round, but because I'm going to be doing it differently with the hover pads, I think I can maybe I'll get a little bit of roundness in. Uh, we'll see. Let me uh, get these all set up and I'll bring you back and show you how they're working. And you do not want to do that. Where is that block? Right there. Okay, I'll be right back. And that's all the hover pads, the, the main ones anyways. So now we go over to, I guess it doesn't really matter where we start. We start over here. And I did make sure that these hover pads are patient, pushing down and the orange ones on that side are pushing down. I mean on this side. Just for a relation same with the black ones uh, they're set up the uh, red ones are set up the same way i could add another ring if i really wanted to but i'm not going to bother because this is going to be stupid enough as it is if once it actually gets going so now i just got to make sure that i have a pad here somewhere i could probably 
put it right here. No, that's actually a good, bad spot for it. We'll put it right here. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Three, we'll go two just to save weight. Uh, no, it doesn't really matter, but that one's pushing that way down. This one's pushing up. That's what we're going to do. We go here to another block. We'll go up here, do the same thing. Uh, yes, we'll put it there. And then we'll put another hard pad here. Pushing that way. And then I'm going to do that with all of them. I might fill in the gaps a little bit or just see what as is for speed purposes. And then we'll start start turning these boxes into two rings hopefully and there's the drive motors I almost <laughs> I almost did something I didn't want to do I gosh for the one the one time I don't want these grounded because I don't want this thing spinning unless we're in the cockpit which is going to be mounted right here and we'll actually go ahead and put the cockpit in now uh, let's do a seven of course it's going to be glass and yeah we'll stay with the yellow inside why not so again, this has to be perfectly centered. It should be, that's one, two, it should be that one. Yes, it is. Now, we're gonna put one on the other, up on top here. Keep the weight evenly placed. And this is just for now until we can get our ring set up. So, yeah, so I got these ones here pushing against those ones there. These ones here pushing against these ones here. I've got it all going the same way. Now we got to make this round. I have done a save, but I'll do another save just in case I forgot. And done. Now, technically, this is all one structure. So, as long I should be able to actually do whatever I want to this thing and not have to worry about it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start by getting the long slopes. Not those long slopes. Sign the slopes. What am I talking about? These ones here. Uh, I want to have this circle starting just outside the motors, just so it works out better with all of them. So the first one here, we're going to start right here, and like so. And do I want to do it that way? I'm trying to think now. That's gonna be more hexagonal. Maybe we'll go back with the block method and just to use. Oh, I love the physics in this game. I just gotta repeat everything on this side that I do on the other side. So if I go up, go up four, and we'll do the same thing up here. I'll go up to the the edge of the motor here, which be. Right here, and go one, two, three. Did I do three or four? I think I went three out. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Could probably even go four. Then we'll go three. One, two, three. Then we'll come out two. One, two, don't mind the debris. And then we'll come down and copy on this side. So what I do, I did three, so I want to go four. And then three, one, two, three. And then two. And then that should actually line up. Just like so. Now what I want to do is I actually want to try to replace these with the, the slopes. Not the, <laughs> again, wrong slope. Uh, this one right here. So if I do that, that should be connected. I can take that out and I can place this one in like so. Uh, I could probably actually get rid of this now. And I take it off from the bottom instead of just dropping it because I have to clean up. And you always got to worry about take taking out that one block that's holding up your entire entire structure. And uh, I've done that too many times. Yes, 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 that's what I want to do. So, this is where I want to place this one first. So then I can take these ones out, and it stays connected here. And, like, put that one in. And then I just wash, rinse, and repeat. Uh, let's see here. 
got these in the wrong spot, but you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and start finishing up this ring, and then I'm going to work on the second ring, and I'll work on the third ring, and then we're going to go around and around and around and around really fast, and we're going to put the new unity to the ultimate test. All right, there she is. Definitely looks a lot better than it did before. It's not a hundred percent round. It's a little sort of squarey, but it's definitely going to be good and hopefully fast. So I'm just wiring up the last set of hover pads. All right, yeah, hover pads here now. I'm a little worried about that connection staying there the whole time. I'm hoping everything stays connected because it's connects now but don't forget this thing is rotating it's going to go on multiple axes so I'm just going to connect this up to here and then just run these side ones down everything is basically connected uh, six seven and eight so we went from 14 hover pads drive or four hover pads driving this thing in each direction now we're up to 16. So now we just gotta get a few, uh, yeah, I gotta fill in the holes. I definitely had to do that. I had to replant it a couple of times because I was in the corners and I had to trim the corners out. Uh, what I basically did is uh, the inner one was, um, I went out whatever blocks, however many blocks was, and I went four, then three, then two, and then one. And then here I went four, three, two, two. And it went four, three, three, two, two, and that just sort of works out. I probably could have gotten a little bit better, but eh, whatever. I know I say that a lot. Oh, I'm still hovering for some reason. I thought I was actually on the ground, and I wasn't paying attention to that. I could still hear my jetpack. Okay, let's get rid of that. Place that there. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's connected there. That's connected down to here, so... The way the power is going is... How is the power going? It's going to have to connect up there somehow. Uh, I had to put two of them there because for some reason I, I couldn't actually place on the center block because that's where my capture point was. And Yeah, this is going to be a little difficult because I don't think that's actually going to connect. At, uh, oh yeah, that's right, that one is, now they're both connected to the orange, and that orange is connected to, hang on, down to the red, and red's gotta connect up to that black, I don't think that's gonna work, what I'll have to do then. The power only goes 40 blocks, and that's the problem with building so big. And even though it's minuscule amounts, and I'm sure somebody's going to argue it, it does make a difference. Something like this, anyways. Like, look at my center masses. Slightly off, just because i got a post sticking out on the side for the beam, uh, the planting. And then I go on this side, and I'll do the same. I might have to do that somewhere else at the same time. That's not F. There we go. And not too worried about the color of the build division matching because we're not going to see it anyways. And connect you over to this side. Like so. And then we'll go up to here. Why will you not connect there? It's too far, really? Hmm. Alright, well that means I have to do this and I didn't want to do this. And I just put a couple of switchboards on here. Just to piggyback it. And I am doubling them up on both sides. Is that the right spot? Yeah, it is. So let me finish this up and I'll bring you back. As you can see by the blue and ring, uh, the glowing blue rings, we are ready to go. I'm just unlocking the uh, rotating plates now, and we are 
pretty much ready for short time, unless I have a block sticking to one of these hover pads again, which would not surprise me. I didn't actually see it there. Oh, that's a missed one. Okay, and then that should be six. Everything is ready to go. Game has been saved. Fingers are crossed. So let's start with the middle. Let's get that off. Is it moving? I have no idea. Look at that. There she goes. There's the first one. Okay, now for the orange ring. Where's that? That's on the other side. Let me uh, tidy up here quickly. Let's fill in this hole. Uh, ceiling tile, black, please. Thank you. I'll take two of those. And I'll take an inner post or inner short inner wall where you're at it. And lay it down the other way. Okay, that is good. Let's, uh, now we gotta fill in this one pretty quick here. We'll go fill this one in. Yes, yes, dragging it out for suspense. All right, and come on, get in there. My mouse wheel is too sensitive sometimes. And then sometimes it just doesn't want to move or it just completely stops working. Gotta love windows. Alright, ceiling tiles. Like so. And now for the orange ring. Yes, I am holding my breath. Okay, what's it doing? I don't know what it's doing right now. Let's give it a little bit of a... Nudge. See, that's how you can tell I had that perfectly balanced, because it, 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 it did not move at all. Okay, now I'll fill in this hole. And try not to take out that block. Grab some more of those posts. You know what would be nice? If we were able to actually change the color variation on this, uh, on the secondary color on the, the post, the orange. Like if you're able to do the black post with red or orange or even like a, a green. And now for the finale. No. See, it lit up right away and I. I got all excited about it. I didn't realize I didn't hook up power to this side. I'm just going to get another generator down just because I'm in creative. May as well. And we take that, that, that. And up we go. And there we go. So now we take this out and it should be ready to go. Give it a bit of a nudge and see what it does. It's moving. I like it. All right, well, let's go for a ride, shall we? Uh, if you get dizzy, you might not want to watch. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Uh oh, that's even worse. There we go. This is originally what I tried to build the first time. It was too square because I didn't want to spend the time to work on it. Yes, yes, we are disconnecting power. Which one is it? Okay, that's what I was afraid of. So someone's losing power here. So then that means I gotta, I gotta double it up on the orange ring like I did with the red. If you can see, the orange ones are actually phasing on and off. Now right, let's go switch the cockpits around. Good thing I make save files. Okay, I do believe I have the power situation 
power situation all wor worked out. I basically have them doing a complete ring around, making sure they're touching all the motors and that they're within range of the next next connection point on the next ring to make sure it's all filled up or connected. It's like a mini network, which is actually a maze and a, a rat's nest of wiring, but hey, nobody's going to see it but me. Anyway, let's take this out. I changed the cockpits too, I switched those around. They are good to go. Just got to get these posts out. And hopefully, by the time I'm done, it's uh, a little brighter out. Okay, and I can fill this hole back up. Like so. Don't need the multi-tool anymore. And let the physics be free. Alright, let's hop in. Now, everything should be okay. I think I've got to unlock a plate. No, oh, that's a weird one. Yeah, definitely the mad scientist invention. Why is it going the other way now? Hmm. Are they losing power again? No, they are getting power. Just too much for the game to handle. Uh, there we go. The, re the reworked Orbitron, I think this one was called. Last one was the Orbiter. This is the Orbitron. See, it like hangs there. I don't know if maybe it's just too much force on it. Or if maybe the, <laughs> there's just too much going on. The game can't handle it. This is the new Unity, by the way. So that's it. I could try to load it up in the uh, the old Unity. But uh, this would be laying on the ground in three pieces. I guarantee it. Because that's what happened last time. But there we have it. There is a reworked or orbiter. And look at that. All the rings lined up just as I took the picture. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if it gets a couple of nice screenshots. Smile. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, there's definitely another one I want to work on. It's going to use sort of the same idea of motors that I'm using right now. Uh, no spoilers, but if somebody can, whoever can guess what that project, the big project is, there's actually two of them. Let's see if anybody can guess them. Uh, whoever can guess the name of the project will be able to name it. Uh, these are going to be live streamed this week. They're going to be big builds, creative builds, and hopefully definitely worth it. I know this one is like, this is cool. Definitely wish I had VR. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Later.